apartment number one here i am walking from the living room to the bedroom and i would say it's a pretty good size not too spacious i would say um however the closet does have a lot of room so it's definitely we are able to work with it especially for both of us and this apartment was actually a 1-1 at 790 square footage for $1,560 a month here we have a bathroom with a his and her sink just with a bathtub shower head as well and then our washer and dryer in unit which is a big plus for us here is the living area i would say or dining area that connects to the balcony as you can see it's quite spacious you can definitely put about three or four seats out here and the kitchen the kitchen was actually one of my favorite parts i fell in love with this whole apartment mainly for the kitchen just the details and the color and the back splash everything just went together so beautifully and appliances of course brand new stainless steel and like i said just the island was a winning ticket for me and i would say the dishwasher was just extra you know it's nice to have but i don't really need it so the realtor told us that there was another apartment with two bedrooms and two baths in the same building so we went to go see it this is the balcony and which takes you right into the living room area or dining area however you like with the painting closet on the left side of the fridge and i noticed that this one in particular was much bigger than the last apartment we saw just by a little bit which is good just extra storage and this was a 2 to 1118 square footage for a thousand eight hundred dollars a month which was so crazy it blew my mind but i guess these prices are shocking when you come from california i guess you know um as well washer and dryer in unit here you're gonna see the first bedroom which is gonna be much smaller square footage than the master and has carpet but not something we can work with and a closet which i thought was great for extra storage space and overall that would have been my office or creative space and then here we have the bathroom for guests which is nice that way nobody has to necessarily go to your room to use the bathroom so it's always nice to have that in the living room and then here is the master's walk-in closet which i loved i thought this was so great for both of us i mean we can definitely share the closet and be comfortable and then here we have the bathroom same thing his and hers but this is what blew my mind a vanity place to have my towels and my makeup in its corner without being in anybody's space which i loved and of course the his and her sink we love her too that's me hi this was a 1 1 550 square footage at two thousand dollars a month in charleston in the city and it was just way too small for what we were getting especially from the last apartment we saw this room especially felt like a box like i would have felt so claustrophobic in there where there was no windows and only good thing about this apartment i would say was probably that the washer and dryer was full size and that the kitchen was stainless steel brand new but both me and my boyfriend love to cook i mean especially my boyfriend being a chef he loves cooking but he there was no space there to cook at all and if you notice the living room kitchen and dining room which is all combined together which made the apartment feel much smaller than it is and the balcony was just so small that only one person at a time was able to enjoy the view outside so this was a hard no so this townhouse was a two bedroom one and a half bathroom with a thousand square footage which was much bigger than the last apartment we saw and it was only for a thousand six hundred a month um very nice sized bedrooms and what i loved was that there was no carpets in the room it was all hardwood floor and then tiles in the bathroom and i also believe in the kitchen 
it also did have a full size washer and dryer in the bathroom which i thought was different i've never seen that before and to the left of it i thought it was going to be extra storage but it turns out it was actually just the ac unit that i thought was on top of the stairs um also the guest bedroom was exactly like the master bedroom they look pretty much identical and there was great light i would say throughout the house and it was nice to have each bedroom have a window since they are on both ends of the house closet space really nice nothing too crazy it was good enough for storage or for our guests to make themselves feel at home um, but overall we weren't too crazy about how the second bedroom would look like and then here we also had some more storage space on top of the stairs which we loved and also down the stairs there was another place i forgot to record as well if you look into the half bathroom it is really nice to have this in the living room just so everyone feels comfortable using a bathroom downstairs and not having to go upstairs um away from the party i would say but overall this space had a lot of square footage and living room dining room area to play with so that was something i really liked also the kitchen had a good amount of space to cook i would say but my boyfriend wasn't too impressed about the kitchen um, but i thought it was really nice for anybody that's looking for a two bedroom two bath um, in Charleston under $2,000. I think this is a really good deal, but unfortunately it's not exactly what we wanted. So we decided to pass on this townhouse. For this next townhouse, it was a two bedroom, one and a half bath for 1,140 square footage for 1,650. And I really wanted to love this townhouse because I actually got a tour from the landlord and she was the sweetest person ever. She really made us feel welcomed and at home when we were looking at the townhouse. And it looked like she really does maintain her properties, which I really loved. And there was also a lot of storage space, just like the last townhouse we saw. Both bedrooms had windows in them, so it was really nice as well. Master bedroom, lots of sunlight was coming in from the outdoors. And what was really cool is that it had a balcony to sit outside. However, the only reason why I wasn't really feeling this townhouse was mainly the kitchen, if you saw in the beginning of the clip, and also the view that it had didn't impress me, so that's the only reason why. But she also did show us another townhouse that is the same exact floor plan um however i didn't record it because someone was still living in it but also i didn't really like it because it was just two doors down and it had the same view so it wasn't impressing me at all but good price good square footage overall so i do recommend if this is something that you're looking for for this next unit it was actually a 11760 square footage at two thousand dollars a month um it was an okay apartment i would say however it didn't have a balcony which i thought was strange like that's kind of the whole point of being in an apartment on like the fifth floor right you have a balcony but that's that and then you had to walk through the bathroom in order to get to your closet which i thought was quite strange but it was quite a spacious closet i felt like the closet was actually bigger than the bedroom but other than that it was just white and beige throughout the apartment and the complex like i actually felt bored touring this apartment complex but it had pretty much everything we needed a nice kitchen and counter space and a washer and dryer in the unit it also allowed dogs but having no balcony pretty much put a sour taste on this unit so we decided not to move on with this one as well so here we have the best for last a 2-2 apartment for 1080 square footage at $2,600 a month what I really liked about this place it felt cozy since we walked in and very welcoming 
and the property manager was the sweetest as well I, you notice there's also a lot of storage throughout the unit there was also like built-in shelves which was great to not have to buy any extra furniture to store away any items it also did have a full-size washer and dryer and the kitchen had enough counter space to cook as well the living room and dining room area was quite spacious and separate from one another which i loved we also had a coat closet to have all of our big chunky jackets and sweaters so it doesn't take up too much space in our closets as well here we have the first bathroom which had a nice bathtub with a shower head on top also a great storage space for any extra towels or linen that i wanted to add lots of cabinet space as well under the sink and the first bedroom had great lighting which i loved as well and it seemed a little smaller than i had expected but it had a lot of space in the closet which i liked for what it was it was actually like a u closet so that is also very nice as well the bedrooms did have carpet but at this point we saw that so many apartments had carpet that it's just kind of a given for a lot of these complexes so we just decided to work around that and then we have the master bathroom which kind of looks exactly like the first bathroom i showed you but this is actually in the master bedroom and then the closet is pretty much identical it has a wrap around you which is really nice and spacious to add more clothes throughout the closet and really use up that space um i felt like this bedroom was just a tad bit bigger than the guest bedroom but overall the same as well the balcony was pretty nice as well it's quite spacious it's not too big but enough for both of us to enjoy well that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and until next time bye